Last time, on Dirtfish Travels, Fontaine. Two losers wash up in the port of Fontaine and bump into Thing 1 and Thing 2. Then Cat in the Hat shows up and is like, Oh, you're so silly, Traveler. I'm going to make a fool out of you, but is outsmarted by Thing 1. Then some shenanigans happen and Dirtfish learns how to speak to water. Hey, what do you think, water? We're told women have been disappearing, but don't worry about it. Come watch our magic show, says Thing 1. And then a woman disappears at the magic show. Thing 1 and Thing 2 are put on trial, accused of disappearing the woman. They are also revealed to be the adopted children of a Fatui Harbinger. But Dirtfish is their bestie now, so he ace attorneyed them, free of charge, and accidentally discovers that the women have been disappearing due to a substance known as Primordial Seawater, aka Gamer Girl Bathwater. And the same group responsible for the disappearances run an illegal drug cartel. And Taylor Swift's dad, Navia, not actually Taylor Swift, was framed by that group, which led to his death, so now Dirtfish has got to clear their family name. Also, I have a platonic crush on her bodyguard, Silver. Congratulations! You've officially been caught up. Woohoo! Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to leave a like. Thanks! Hey, look what I can do! Side switch, side switch, side switch, side switch, side switch, side switch, I'm everywhere, baby! You can't stop me! Hoo-ha-hoo-ha-hoo-ha-hoo-ha-hoo-ha-hoo-ha-hoo-ha-hoo-ha-hoo-ha-hoo-ha-hoo-ha-hoo-ha-hoo-ha-hoo-ha-h
Dude, this feels even more arcane like. Dude, if we find out there's a whole city down here, an undercity, oh my. It's just, it's Zon. It's, it's just Zon, straight up. Like, almost. Under the present circumstances, I can confidently say it's the best we have. Is it just me or is his voice getting more strained as he continues to talk? Old man, you can keep your mouth shut. It's fine. The way the light is reflecting on her makes her look like an angel compared to like the two standing by her side. Dude, let the light shine in silver a bit, man. He needs some time in the spotlight. My father's name is Callus. Three years ago, he was accused of murdering hey. his own friend. Cutscene specific he music to again. To defend his honor, he died in the duelist ring. Ah, oh, man. Unfortunate. Did Clorin kill him? <laughs> That'd be pretty sad. Uh, there is one other thing. I knew Master it! <gasps> Hello, Silver! What's up, buddy? Whether it be responsibility for Spina di Rosula or Master Callus's death, this won't do. I must become stronger. No, Silver. Stand proud. You are strong. Hello! <laughs> Cardinal! <laughs> Would you happen to know anything about a certain oratrice mechanique d'analyse? Cardinal! Huh? Pasha? Or is that even your name? Uh, sorry. I'm gonna go. Uh, okay. On my way to see the big ass guy, the Otter Man. Halt! Please state your business here. The Chief Justice is presently occupied with official matters. I like your voice. Huh. It's so funny. This place to the big man. Oi! Please come in. How the hell did that sound like that from here? Bro was whispering sweet dulcet tones into my ears from all the way over there. What do you mean? Please come in. And like he's like thousands of feet away from me. Please let me know how I may be of assistance to you. He's so nice. He's so cool. Dude, I hope this guy doesn't end up being bad. His eyes just kind of give that vibe. I hope Nivellet doesn't end up being bad because he's, he's so cool. I can see why people like him now. It's just like last time. In your eyes, the value of a human life is nothing compared to those cold laws you hold so dear. Damn. Damn! The acting! Hello! Holy fuck! I'm sorry. This is, this is good stuff. I am... I am eating this up right now, man. Yum, yum, yummy in my tummy. If you truly regret my father's death, oh no! Then why didn't you Don't pull us cry. Stop to the duel? Oh man, no, no! Why? No, they're actually showing a character fucking crying in a cutscene. Help me, dude! This ain't right. Why did you just let him die, despised and hated by all? Oh man. Oh well. In any case, everyone already knows full well the apathy of the Chief Justice. Damn! Dude, this whole thing is is nuts. Like, ever since we got past, like, the, the port or whatever of Fontaine, the entire Archon quest has been good. But also this scene, man. Oh, man. Navia. My apologies for taking my emotions out on you, Monsieur Chief Justice. Let's go, Traveler and Paimon. I think the crazy thing is, and what's beautiful about this, is you're still not really that mad at Nervalette. You feel bad for Navia, but you also understand that that's kind of what comes with the job. You get jaded. <laughs> what? Yo! Dude, this place might be one of my absolute favorites that I've seen in Genshin so far. It's like just my type of place. Like a dark, scary, like, blue color cave. With like steampunk vibes. Oh my yes! Oh <gasps> no! My brethren! What has happened to you? I'm so sorry! Take my healing! I must rehydrate all my friends! Yeah! Anyway. And hey, this place is actually pretty easy to navigate. As as much as it looks like insane, it's actually fairly easy to navigate this area. Props to whoever designed it. Hi, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Can I talk? Thanks. I can understand the kind of pain that comes with losing a father so needlessly. You don't understand at all. Oh, she's in that phase. No one understands me. Wow, this. Wait a minute, Adele. Wait, we have Taylor Swift interacting with Adele in this video game, guys. It's crazy out here. Papa didn't say that exactly. But Papa did tell me that I should never be ungrateful. 
How old is this kid supposed to be? <laughs> Man. The jazzy vibe of Fontaine honestly hits so nice. There's just something about this place, you know? Maybe it's the stench of, like, <laughs> money and Frenchness. I'm gonna go on a nice stroll with this guy for a bit. You know, take a, take a break away from things. Keep my mind off the uh, impending doom of the world as it is. Like, he gets me. Don't you, Gargamel? Yeah, that's right. Me and my buddy, Gargamel. We're out here protecting the street. Oh, okay. B bye. Damn. Lacking friends again. Now we must contact Marcel. Hello. How may I help you? Hi, Marcel. I know this is not Marcel, but I want it to be very funny. None of them sounded particularly suspicious. <laughs> sus? <laughs> like a, like right, I'm not even going there. I'm so sorry. It's obvious that our enemy has become more antsy after the secret of the primordial seawater was revealed. To be gamer girl bathwater. Yep. <sighs> Who could it be? So it's none of them. Oh, idea! Let me let me furl my brain wrinkles for a minute. <laughs> I've got a a, a thought cooking. <laughs> Oh, uh, 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 don't wait, no, don't put me in the spot for this. Marcel's the, the most suspicious. I'm just gonna guess him. Alright, cause let's say this out. Bra brain wrinkles! Go! Um, first of all, like, he was the one with the most, like, inconsistent, like, retelling, or, uh, like, a retelling of events that seemed a little bit strange. <laughs> like, I don't know. Did my brain wrinkles wrinkle just right? Navia, here you are. We've got oh. another trial on our hands. Oh, Wasn't involving us? Built specifically for not Milus. Wait, no! So Don't tell me. Did Silver get arrested? No, my poor boy. No, I'm joking. But they said the person they're putting on trial is a Tui Harvey. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I called that. Like last last time. Here we go. Flashback. Wait, is he gonna get arrested? Is child gonna get arrested? Now flash forward! Fucking, I called that! I knew he was gonna get in trouble somehow, that moron. What? Is that someone you know? Yeah, um... I still haven't gotten the chance to ask him what we are exactly, but, you know... Demoiselle, please allow us... Yeah! It's the guys! I'm ready. <laughs> Hell yeah, you are. Silver, you're going places, man. I feel it. Look at that boy! He's so happy! Oh my god, the bird and the slime- wait, are they friends? The bird and the slime just dancing? Oh my god, that's so cute! Huh. According to info, oh, I have to go under the water? Yo, dude, this is it. This is freaking it, baby! The water stamina replenishes in this, in this nation, that's so- Okay, I'm gonna wait till I find like a nice spot. This is it. This is it, ready? Okay, this is like the- oh my- whoa! I love this. This is so quaint and nice. Let me quickly grab this. Oh, that's so weird to have teleport waypoints like underwater straight up. What does this do? What the? G. <laughs> okay, that is, that is a long, unnecessarily long name. Genshin always has this issue, by the way. I'm assuming it's a direct translation of the Chinese, but like... They need to stop naming things this way. Abilities of the transoceanic, source water, and xenochromatic creatures. Who the fuck is gonna memorize that apart from a super nerd? Like, hello? Just just call it, like, water whip or something simple, you know? My brain too small to keep up with all the big word in this game. <laughs> oh, sorry. I always have a soft spot for this. The sound design down here is really cool as well. Man, Ether hitting that crazy underwater moonwalk. Look at him go. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the trial... Oh, a young lady has charged in and offered to clear my name. How fascinating. Now then, Miss Navia, who is the person you would like to charge instead? That person is Marcel, the head of Confrerie of Cabriere. Oh, is this going to be a friends to enemies type situation? <laughs> what the fuck? Who wrote this character? I need to know. I didn't have a word in with who wrote this character. This is goofy as hell. Do you have the evidence to back up your claims? <sighs> I'm afraid not. Boo! 
<laughs> if you don't have any evidence, you should just go home. Why are you here? Can we kick this person out of the fucking- Get her out of here! Miss Navia, you still have not explained the link between your father's case and the serial disappearances case. Right? What she said was fascinating, but kind of beside the point. Wait, weren't they just talking about the serial disappearances case? Oh my god. These are as NPC as NPCs can get! I, I do understand why they want the audience members to react, but give them brains, please! They're so dumb! <sighs> Even after hearing your reasoning, I still can't help but find it a little preposterous. I'm used to it, though. You've always been an impulsive and sentimental child, Navia. Oh. It's one of your most endearing traits. See, when you have dialogue like this, this is how you know that he is the bad guy! You don't write dialogue like this for this guy, and then pretend like that, you know, he's innocent. That's not gonna trick anybody. At least, at least make it, like, more ob- like, less obvious to the player. No need to appeal to pathos. Exactly! Dude. Silver, you get me, bro. I actually love this guy so much. Many people's images are flashing before my eyes. And whose image do you see, Marcel? Is it a man named Vache? Ooh! Huh. <sighs> Got him. Oh, so you do know that name. <laughs> I'm merely surprised you'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. I was waiting for you to say that. Damn! This jumping back and forth between the two perspectives is a cool concept. Had it not been for the fact that the loading screen takes like 10 years. So I'm just gonna, you know, fucking... Uh, just, you know, just... <laughs> that, was my, that was my really poor attempt at making a snoring sound. For some reason I couldn't do it. I, I'm normally able to do that. I don't know why the fuck that one sounded so bad. Uh, oh, I forgot you can swim. That's so weird. See, because I see water, and I'm like, oh, I can't go down there. But now you can. Oh my god, that's so cool. I like that they integrated that here. <laughs> Flush! Oh. Oh no! <laughs> the toilet's overflowing! The flush didn't work! Help, there's pee and poo spilling everywhere! Time to look for evidence! <laughs> Alright. The only option left is to remove him from the picture entirely. I concur. Let's send someone to kill him. Oh, seems like we've got a bunch of correspondence between the higher-ups. Why'd they have that written down? Do they pass notes? They're like sitting in a classroom being like, Psst, hey, I want to plan a murder. Me too. Let's plan a murder. And then this happened. Oh, look! There's an important looking basin over here. And it's full of water. Yeah, just by the look of it, I'd imagine that is THE Gamer Girl bathwater. What if I jump in it? Can I? Can I sip the water? The silly water? I wanna get drugged up. I'm kidding. I would never do that. I'm kidding, right? 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 I'm joking. Right? I'm joking. There's so much synth here! Oh, plenty to go around! Paimon wants to try, so now she's like, huh, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> it trips out. Female specimens 22, 23, and 24 were dissolved. I don't think Paimon's having a very good time here, guys. Seems a little bit distressed. <laughs> <laughs> what was that sound? Ah. The goal of the researcher was to save... Oh! So that's why you did all of these experiments. Wait, Vache! Vache! By dissolving people over and over? Transition! Ooh! And now we wait. Great! I was waiting for you to say that. Navia, we're back! Damn, the timing! Just how often do you intend to flout the rules of this court? Uh oh. Grandpa's getting a little grumpy, guys. We made him a little angry. Oh, no. But the truth of it, Marcel, Ooh. is that you've always been Vache. That's what I'm saying. Also, ether voice line. Let's go. You also never understood Boss's real expectations for his daughter. Exactly. Damn. Our determination to see things through. Yeah, you tell him, Silver. <laughs> Get him. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I love this guy. Uh-oh. Pay attention to you. <laughs> what for? Have you ever paid attention to me? Ever empathized with my pain? Ever known how it feels to watch the love of your life dissolve right in front of your eyes? Wow. One major rebuttal and the breakdown begins. No one even believed me. <laughs> Joker ass speech. Decades ago, even the officers from the Maison Guardianage were laughing at me. Oh my god. He is the Joker, dude. If it was me dying there on the sidewalk, you would have walked right over me. But I'm not from this blasted place. What? So I can't be dissolved. No matter what I do. Oh, the tears. What? Hey, is that water from the primordial sea that he's drinking? Bro, bro needed his daily dose. I can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. Do you all see? I can't go. I can't follow. So if I can't go where she is, what choice do I have but to try to bring her back? The Oratrice will wow. now deliver the final verdict yeah. regarding the charges against Yeah, let's Mr. go! The Oratrice, we're getting the least Woohoo! Yeah! Here it goes. The funny animation. Pan to the outer part of the room where it goes all across and then it goes, oh yeah! Oh my god, that's so funny. The pops out there. He stares at it for a moment and reads it with his According old man eyes. According to the eyes. judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Varche is... Damn it! I was talking over the line! He said THE line! He said THE meme and I talked over it. No! Guilty. Oh yeah! Guards! Take Varche away. It has been established that Mr. Tartaglia has no direct connection to the serial disappearances case. And thus, it is logical to suppose Mr. Tartaglia is innocent of the charges. We now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal to render the final verdict on the charges. The Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal! Let's go! God, that is like... I'm turning I'm turning into a Pokemon. It's like the only thing I can say right now. The only input I have right now watching this is just... Oh, the, the, the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal! Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal! The Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal! Woohoo! I'm so happy! Yippee! I'm losing my mind. Help! According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Tartaglia is guilty. Guilty. Why? What? Weren't the charges about the serial disappearances case? Exactly. No matter what else he's guilty of, it shouldn't affect the verdict in this case, right? Wow! Wow, the only NPC that's actually had a brain this entire time. Let's go! She's actually correcting the idiots in the crowd, dude. The idiots that are all standing, like, sorry, sitting perfectly the same. He's just... Huh? What the, is her hand twitching? What's happening over there? Wait, I just noticed that. That's really weird. Her hand's like twitching in the background. What the heck? Oh, he's gonna fight back. He's gonna fight back. Oh no. So this is how justice is done. Oh, it's his theme. What a joke. Hmm. You've got your rules. Oh. Well, I've got, got mine. Too. Yeah. Oh my. Dude, I love that they put his theme in for this cutscene. Again. Oh my god. The animated cutscenes never miss, dude. If only the regular ones were like at least as immersive as this. Somewhere close, right? Cutscene specific music. High fast voice acting. Oh my god. Wait, he's powering up all the way? Just for the Gargamel bots? Oh! Oh, nah! No, the old man is swinging now! I am sorry. Oh my god! If you have been wronged, we will find the truth. But the rules of the court must be upheld. Damn! That was cold as fuck! He had a scratch on his face, though. Shit. And he, like, he didn't respect the anime rule. You know, when someone's powering up, you don't interrupt the transformation. That's so funny. He was like, fuck your transformation. Bam! <laughs> Buddy, what the heck happened? Oh, a choice mechanic didn't least cut an owl. I trusted you. How could you do this to me? You were supposed to be, the, you know, the cool, funny meme thing. How, how dare you do this? I feel so betrayed, man. What the fuck? Man, talk to me, Oratrice. Where did we go wrong? What the hell happened? I can't believe you. You're not the same as 
I once knew. I'm leaving you, or a trace mechanic, then I'll leave Cardinal. We're on to better things. <laughs> ha! It's the L Taker! Hey, what are you doing? Quick, stop him! Oh, oh no! What are you Traveler. doing? Hey, traveler! What do you want, L Taker? Please, just let me ask this one small thing. <laughs> Can I have your autograph? I've really been meaning to get it. Please, please give me a chance to talk to her again. Just let the traveler take me to the fountain to see her one last time. Alright, Marcel. <laughs> It's time to reunite Romeo with Juliet. You can hear her. Oh, but only the problem is able to talk to the stuff. Sorry, guys. That's unfortunate for you, buddy. Why did you come? Vignette, you are my everything. I really don't know how I could live with you. Alright, buddy. Whatever. This is really sentimental and everything, but like, I'm just over here enjoying my cookies. I mean, like, you guys just do your thing, just ignore me, I'm just kind of back here munching on stuff, it's all good. But Vache, if you ask me, this world would be better off without you. Oh! Brother Ocean had pulled a low tier god. Vignette really said, you should now, <laughs> you know what I mean? If not for you. I would have finished my law degree and Whoa! become Whoa! a top-tier attorney one day. Oh my god, she's an asshole! If not for you, I would have continued to pursue my love of the Oh my god! If not for you, I would at least have Are been you able kidding to me? take care of my mother. Ooh. It's all because of your selfishness, Vashe. Whoa, whoa! It's all because of you. What is what is wrong with this lady? I'm so sorry, but like, you know. Hey, does she count as an Oceanid now? Can I fight her? And does that mean I can, like, dissolve her again? What happens if you're double dissolved? Do you become double dead? You... Wait, you are not Vignere. Who are you? You're right. I am not Vignere. Oh! I am the Sacrifices. Oh! Oh, that was... That makes sense. Sorry. I mean... Well, that's messed up. Every woman who died by your hand... Good twist, but holy dissolved. shit! I'm Cressy. I'm Lemony. I'm Azim. <laughs> and I'm Ginyu. All together now. The Ginyu Boys. The only one I am not is Vignier. Yikes. Harsh. But deserved. You go stand in that green screen void, motherfucker. Think about what you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You green screen ass at bitch. You are a liar. A heartless murderer and a cowardly narcissist. The only thing you are not is Vignere's beloved. Oh, man! Is this water cold or is that just me, man? That's fucking wild. Oh, my God. When I said don't look for me, that came from the real Vignere. But on top of that, she also said that because it's her final drop of pity for you. She said that because she knew that if you did come here, we will show no mercy to you. <laughs> Sorry, my brain rotted for a second there, but like, jeez, I'm like really impressed at how fucking fire this is right now. This is really, really good. Vashe. Vashe? Oh, well, now that's not. <laughs> right as I said it was good, it started getting like. Oh, man. The, like, that was a whole roller coaster right there. The effects in that was like some of them were really good and some of them were really cringe. Like, it's like I don't know. What, what, can you, what else can you do, man? They only have a handful of like preset animations and like, car like camera configurations to work with for these cutscenes. That just looked awkward. I feel kind of bad, but it is cool. It's cool where they're going, just not where they're at, you know? Drown. And immediately, it's back to a 10. Damn, okay. <laughs> ha. That's a job well done. Shopping. Killed a man. Gosh. Did some trials. It's really been a long time since we've been able to relax. Oh my god. <laughs> It really is! They're really just like, ah, oh, time to kick back and chill. What a, what a day. Ooh, what a day. Just killed a man. Oh, what a day. It's a pleasure to see you both again. <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you too, my guy. 
Dude, you totally should have been there, like, we saw a man drown right in front of our very eyes. Not physically, of course, metaphysically. You're really enjoying life these days, Navia. What have you been busy with since the trial? <coughs> Aristor, Aristor, <coughs> Aristor. <sighs> to be perfectly honest, even I haven't been back here for a long time. Ooh, man. Should he tell her that this is where I peed in the bushes a few days ago? My apologies. I should have asked before coming to pay my respects. Dude, this guy is so cool. Like, how do you write a character this, like, noble and chill? It actually is astonishing to me that they managed to make Nuvolet this cool. Don't say that. <laughs> In fact, don't talk to me at all, ever, anymore. <laughs> like... I was trying to say there's no need for you to apologize. I wanted to show my father how much I've grown. But still... I doubt I've grown to the point that even the Chief Justice would feel compelled to apologize to me over and over. In that case, I will stop apologizing for now. <laughs> Never mind. He's become neurodivergent, like me. You really could use some pointers on understanding human emotions, Monsieur Nervous. Yeah, yeah. He actually he actually has. Dude has become neurodivergent. Woohoo! Congratulations, man. One with the gang. One with the gang. Am I right? Let's go. I've been turning a question over and over in my head. Just what is justice anyway? Oh, and now he's a philosopher. Damn, he's putting on so many hats today. So you're actually one of those types that's cold on the outside, but Pretty thoughtful on the inside. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> that reminds me of Silver. See, now you compare Nuvolet to Silver, I'm sorry. That means he's one of the goats, right? That means I gotta, like, respect Nuvolet now, right? Like, you just compared him to the goat of goats. So, you know, I, I, I can't speak. Yes, up to the present, I think we reached a point where we have no choice but to confront this prophecy directly. It's okay. I will fix this myself. I will drink the entire water supply, and then it won't rise anymore. Or at least every time it rises, I will drink it, and then you guys won't drown. Easy solution. However, I still believe the judgment of the Oratrice was not rendered arbitrarily. <laughs> Mention! The Oratrice making me the least now! Let's go! Hello, doggy. Uh, Charlotte is busy. No! Wait, they still have this problem? Oh my god! Why do you still have this problem? Why do you still have that issue? Man, what the fuck? It genuinely is really frustrating that they kept in this gimmick where if an NPC is stuck in another quest, you just can't do the current quest that you're doing. Why is this still a problem this far into the game? Can it really not be that hard to just warp the NPC that you need? Like, select the quest that you're going to do and have the NPC that you need warp to the location of the quest that you select? How is that difficult? Because you can just unload the world. Like, take the, like, if you select the quest and you activate it, you warn that the character's another quest, you activate the quest, it unloads the world and replaces the NPC and moves them. So now this quest is prioritized instead. That should be completely fine and dandy. That is not hard to do. Like, now I have to waste, like, another, like, 10 minutes or something clicking through dialogue for another quest that I would really rather not do just so I can go ahead and, like, oh my god, this is annoying. Can I finally- Yeah! Let's go! I can finally continue the main story. Jeez, dude. This is all I wanted to do. Hi! Nuvalet! We're here! Did you want to see us about something? Yes, I did send someone to fetch you. But as for what I'd like to discuss next... Well, I still have some reservations. <gasps> He's taking us out to dinner and reserved a place? <gasps> How romantic! A while earlier, at if the I'm flame understanding of you correctly, the Snezhnayan harbinger known as the Knave has essentially requested a diplomatic meeting with you, correct? Oh boy. When did I agree to join the meeting with you? <laughs> you mean you won't come? Oh my god, wait, I love this. Wait, this voice acting's really cool. The whole father-daughter dynamic going on right now is like really, really good. Like the voice acting sells that. 
Oh, this all happened it before we got here. Be considered a diplomatic conference. <gasps> I prefer to see our meeting today as an ordinary tea party. Hello. I assume you see it the same Pyro? way, Miss Farina. I forgot her eye. Oh my God, she's so cool. Holy shit. <laughs> That was me foaming at the mouth, by the way. Like, actually, this character is so fucking cool. It's a pleasure to meet you, Monsieur Nouvellet. I was born in Fontaine, so naturally, there is no need to introduce the nation's revered Udex to me. Hello. The pleasure is also mine. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> the awkward fucking stiff hello. Dude, I swear! The delivery is so good on Nouvellet. It's actually really good. It's, I really like the voice acting for this guy. I would like you to go to the Fortress of Meropede and investigate Child's disappearance. <laughs> Damn, that's unfortunate. We went from the serial disappearances case to the child disappearances case. That's crazy. We will rendezvous at the Fortress of Meropede's entrance on Erinaeus once you've prepared yourselves. Yeah. Are you leaving now? In that case, please take this cake as a token of my personal gratitude. <laughs> I put weed in it. I hope you like it. Ooh, cafe lettuce? Is it edible? Oh, uh, what? Do you want one of those too? A new Fanta, thank you. Ah, yes, the cum water. We sure ordered a lot. That cake was pretty good. But as soon as Paimon remembered that we were about to go to prison, Paimon's stomach suddenly became completely empty. What? Where did you empty it on? Looks down. There's just crap all over my pants. Here we are, about to willingly send ourselves off to the Fortress of Mary. I don't know. The the Fortress of Meripede is a very fun phrase. Fortress of Meripede, the Fortress of Meripede, the Fortress, the Fortress, the Fortress of Meripede. It's cool. It's got a nice little ring to it. Oh. Oh. Oh, what is What? The the oh, what? Is it the taste of a breaking story? Seriously, what what is the sudden like addiction of of the devs and like doing those like little pop in pop outs of all the animations of all the characters lately? They've been having so much fun with that gimmick. Like, oh my goodness me. Ah, uh, calm down, calm down. As long as you can score some juicy tidbits from the traveler, you might still be able to recover the cost of the meal. I've got juicy tidbits. Did you know? In terms of human male and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon. <laughs> I don't know if you'd believe me, but I actually drop kicked a child yesterday. It was pretty funny. Dirtfish does not condone the drop kicking of children. No way! We would never! We're just going there to. <coughs> uh, um. Two. Three? Four? Five? As you can see, <laughs> I was teaching Paimon how to count. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! He was awarded the honorary title of Duke in Fontaine. Sounds really cool, huh? I self proclaim myself as Duke. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> then it's settled. The food should be here any second, right? Huh? Wait, just how much did you order? Uh oh. Well, no turning back now, friend. That was actually a very well set up, like, joke. I actually really like the camera pan out to all the food. Alright, buddy, look. I'm doing this just for you. Look, let me point at you. Yeah, just for you. Now, now I'm shooting at you, but you know, ignore that part. Yada daddy. Yada daddo. Going to the fortress of Meropi. Gonna rack and rattle the bars of the prison. And everyone will respect me. Going around the fortress of Meropi. Fortress of Meropi. <laughs> well, that's like not ominous at all. Don't tell me like I'm going like down there. Oh my god. And the music cut out when I walked on it too. I don't like this. Uh, I want to go back. I don't want to. I don't want to go into the prison anymore. Okay, sir. Arrest me now. Utilizing both the barrier of the water as well as the fear humans have of the depths, the fortress of Meripede is naturally the perfect place to confine and guard criminals. Ah, cruelty. I like it. Being at the bottom of the sea like that gives Paimon the heebie-jeebies. The heebie-jeebie. I mentioned that I have had personal dealings with the administrator of the mm -hmm. fortress, Ridesley. He's a very oh. shrewd fellow. That's how you say his name. I never knew that. He's that Duke, right? <laughs> Duke more like Dukey, am I right? <laughs> Careful. You may want to step back a bit. I'm going to fart. <laughs> Stairs are for nerds. Watch this. <gasps> Another cool elevator. This one's significantly more steampunk than the last. I like this already. So this is 
what it feels like to be a criminal in Fontaine. Slowly drifting you down an elevator. You seem to be taking this pretty well. What? Is she supposed to be with us in the elevator? Such a good mood. Oh, that's weird. I feel like she was meant to be with us in the elevator, but they just didn't add that in. This is really cool, though. Excuse me, reception. I have an appointment with, um, jail. You are the Traveler and Paimon, correct? Um, uh, Duke, Duke, Traveler and Paimon, actually, but yes. Eating a cake specially prepared for the Archon by a Snezhnayan envoy without the Archon's permission, thereby incapacitating the political center of Fontaine for a brief period. Sentence, 45 days? Wait, what? That's what we were charged for? <laughs> that is amazing. Just looking at the charges, it seems you two are capable of causing some serious trouble. I know, dude. My appetite can be quite overwhelming, I assure you. And we're done. Thank you for your cooperation. Next, someone will be along to guide you inside the fortress. Please be sure to cherish this opportunity for rebirth. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Actually, you know what? It's going on me. I actually really like the line delivery on this NPC. Move it. Oh. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Whoa, wait, yo! Dude, this area is cool looking, at least. I wouldn't even be doing this if it weren't for the credit coupons. What? They got a whole new economy down here. Damn. Yeah, they actually, they do have an economy. Like, a, its own... Holy shit, it's Zon. They have their own, like, little society down here in the Undercity. It's Zon. I know it's not, but I'm coping, okay? Let me have my little fucking arcane fantasy, all right? Yeah, I'm sure this guy must be wondering why we're, like, not complaining whatsoever. They're like... They're, isn't it, like, the criminal criminals that don't really complain about things that are the most intimidating? Are we like that type right now? We're not really complaining. We're just kind of here. After being away from the sunlight for so long, <laughs> even the terrifying depths of the sea start to feel like home. Not very terrifying to it me. It just stops feeling oppressive. This is awesome you know? to me. Plus watch, I'm gonna show you a secret trick that I've been working on. Hey water. How you doing buddy? Happy to see me? Yeah, yeah, I know you are. <laughs> Ooh, dude this music slaps. Fortress of Merrope, the Fortress of Merrope. Dude, what is this? This is making me feel significantly cooler than I have to be right now. Praise Duke Turpfish, everybody. Make way. Knock, knock, motherfuckers. The Duke is here. You just go on over there by yourselves. Okay. Thanks, guy. What was that all about? What a friendly fellow. Uh, wait a second. Ooh, the Gargamels, they here. march. Oh. Prisoners numbers 7459 and 7560. Welcome. Oh, no need to be anxious. These Gardamex aren't here to attack you. In fact, they're here as your honor guard. Oh? Well, I'm flattered, fellow Duke. His design is so cool, though, I have to say. Like, his whole color scheme, his vibe, the kind of wolf look he's got going, it's great. To make you feel more welcome, I'll show you around the various facilities of the Fortress of Meripede. The Fortress of Meripede, the Fortress of Meripede, the Fortress of Meripede, the Fortress of Meripede! The music down here is really, really cool. Only problem is, again, it's not really, it's not cutscene specific, so it doesn't fit this current scene. But the music here is so good. You can come here and claim one welfare meal each day. Welfare meal? You mean, it doesn't cost anything? That's right. Criminals are essential to fortress operations, so we must guarantee that they at least have the basic means to survive. This system is already looking really interesting so far. You know, expanding on the world building a little bit more, adding some spice to the area. It's amazing. Another loading screen. Uh, your, your Grace, good morning. I mean, good afternoon. No, wait, what time is it again? It is, um, 0 o'clock p.m. in the noon. Thank you very much. As for what we produce, many of the clockwork machines seen all over Fontaine originate from our workshop. Good concept. 
And like, I'm sure the concept art of this went crazy as well, because this area looks amazing. Oh. Huh? Huh? Why? Hello? Uh, uh, oh. That was not a sp face I expected to see. Oh, uh, Explanation now, please? Uh, <laughs> it's nothing. Uh, huh? What, huh? Uh, the explanation? No, no explanation? What? What is? Why is he there? Bro, I'm about to lose my mind. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh my God. Hello. I don't know who this character okay. is. I, I, I did not know that this character existed. Hello, friend. Suge Wind? Is that your name? Isn't that the meal box that only super lucky people manage to draw? Seems like you two are quite fortunate. They added gotcha to the fucking meals here? Damn, Hoyoverse, that's cruel and cold. And again, is that garlic bread? Dude, this is the best prison that's ever prisoned. Some essential goods have to be obtained from the overworld, so we naturally have to stay in touch about this. The event. overworld. Dude treats this like this is the underworld and he's Hades. But to be fair, that is pretty sick, so. Ah, refreshing. Hey, you're finally awake. Hey, you, you're finally awake. Hey, lazy bones, what are you still doing here? If you don't want to starve, then get yourselves over to the production zone. All right, I'ma get producing. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy! Santa's toy factory! I can't wait to do my part in helping the elves. Hello, sir! Are you one of the elves here? Ah, you must be the catch of the day. Looks like you've got some luck getting assigned this space. Yep, we just arrived yesterday in- Don't interrupt me when I'm speaking! Asshole. Yes, sir. Oh, jeez. Paimon. Oh, no. Hey! Hey! Now I'm protective. It's like fucking... Fucking starts barking at him. Every machine here is worth more than the both of you. Uh, I would beg to differ, but... <laughs> Keep yapping, my guy. I will say, gameplay here is a little silly because we still have access to all of our powers and abilities and stuff, right? Like, I can do this to this guy. Like, take that, stupid! Yeah! You know, I, I could do this to this guy. Rebuild. You know, I, I could do this to this guy. And I could do this to this guy. And it's silly because we have all of our swords and weapons down here as well. It's like, it kind of breaks the immersion, but I just straight up have access to all of my things. Um, it's a little weird. Hey, over here. Oh, it's Liddy, Pookie Poo Schmuckums. I'm coming. Oh, Lynette. Oh, yay, the gang's That's all here. Right. My brother simply can't stand to be away from me. Yay! Perhaps you haven't heard, but the Fortress of Meripede hides a secret. The Fortress of Meripede, the Fortress of Meripede, the Fortress of Meripede, the Fortress of Meripede. Father has her ways. Many of them are beyond our imagination, and we've never had the chance to see her at work. But we trust her conclusions. Can I just say, it's still so cool that she's referred to as father. That is such a cool, random little thing, but it just, it vibes, you know, it vibes something. That's for sure. Man, I wish that this elevator was easier to access. <coughs> <coughs> for the conveniences of gameplay, they should have had a way for you to access the second floor from the ground a lot faster. Because this is, um, this whole elevator thing is not a good system. And there's no way you can easily climb up to the second floor from the ground, which isn't good. I gotta speed up this quest, man. Like, as much as I am enjoying myself, I don't have enough time to do all this. You must be the traveler, huh? The targets in front of you will pop up one after another. Whack-a-mole? You'll need to hit the targets in the same order that they popped up. Duh. 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 Alright! Come on, brain wrinkles! Wrinkle up! Time to memorize! I can feel my brain wrinkles wrinkling at that one. Oh, my brain hurt. Are you two here to buy tickets? Better be quick about it. Another match is about to start. Wait, wait, wait. They gave him the cronk voice. That's really funny. Hey, traveler. Bye, Mon. Package here for you. Amazon? They deliver down here? 
The promoter. Hello, promoter. What are you promoting? I'm a promoter for Fontico, and I'm usually uh, responsible for promoting our see. products. I thought I could complete my task here quickly and return to headquarters, but I've been here way longer than I anticipated. Ugh, I'm so upset. It's all because of that duke. Hey, I like this guy's voice acting. This guy's voice acting, like, is just really good for some reason. They just had this random NPC that you'd only talk to once just have, like, really good line delivery. Uh, well... Fine, fine. I know, I should just let it go. I'm on his turf, after all. His house, his rules. See, like, what is that? Delivery, it's so good! What, what? Huh? Where'd this come from all of a sudden? This NPC is, like, the best line reads of the entire, like underground areas so far actually you know what the voice acting has been like pretty consistently good down here there have been some misses some of the npcs have had weird voice choices like some of the voices themselves are weird but the line delivery is all right i recall one npc having bad line delivery but so far the rest of them i mean it's like been pretty good oh so it's the company that manufactures fonta sponsoring the event so fonta has got some involvement the cum water it's back very suspicious indeed. <laughs> You're lucky we don't mind extroverts that much. <laughs> you hear that, Quisto? What nice! I like this guy's accent. It's so good. It's so good. It's so funny. I'm Quisto, and this is Lavaroon. People usually call us the Bombshell Bros, but don't worry, we're not playing with bombs or anything. Cause otherwise, they'd be too powerful. These guys are the strongest characters in Tavad, by the way. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Speaking of which, the last time I saw him, he was passing by in the corridor with Lorvine. I also heard they started arguing in the library and got into a fight, right? Guess that's just how terrible of a guy he is. You mean he hit a woman? Wow, I never imagined he was that bad. <laughs> I love this character so much, what the fuck? I don't know, I like, there's something about every time he speaks. It's just gold. Gold. Look at me meandering, meandering around, visiting the infirmary, not for suspicious. I can't hey, speak. Stay okay. Wait, what? Wait, so we do have some of our things, if not all of our things. Why do we have our things? Dude, if we have all of our things, the people down here can't restrain us. We can do anything we want. Whoa, are you okay? <laughs> My stomach! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> I'm so sick! <laughs> I'm so sorry I barfed on your hand! <laughs> well, that was fruitful. <laughs> I took a nap. That, that was that investigation. <laughs> really are something. To be able to fall asleep like that and even sleep talk the entire time? No, but you can't things along the lines of Pyron, go take my grilled fish and put down the Adeptus Temptation now! Are you serious? We dream- I should- dude, that's how you know that the Traveler is such a good companion for Paimon. They both speak in food. That's awesome. <laughs> that's amazing. Pew 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 Telepathic communication! <laughs> I don't know what sound effect that was. Excuse me, Mr. Duke. Other Duke, aka me, needs answers. Well, want to explain yourself, Risley? Yeah! <laughs> explain of yourself. Course. But I'm not partial to the word choice of explain. How about enlighten? Enlighten yourself! I mean, us! Yeah, I need to know what the forbidden zone is, guy. Leak that next Sonic the Hedgehog level. That's not something you should be asking after. Nevelet only asked you to investigate Child's whereabouts. Yeah, but I'm an autonomous thinker. I got my own brain cooking right now. It seems you've forgotten just what kind of place the Fortress of Meripede is. The Fortress of Meripede, the Fortress of Meripede, the Fortress of Meripede. Time to descend into the deep depths of the underworld. Here we go. Oh. Well, this wasn't as deep or depth as I thought it would be. Stand on the central plate. Yes, sir. Wait, is there a secret mechanism or... Whoa! This is an elevator into hell. You will be joining me. Ooh, fancy. Your constant amazement makes it seem like the fortress can do anything. At this point, I would not be surprised. Is that Noah's Ark? Yo, the world might flood. 
But allow me to build an ark. <laughs> oh, and I was keeping an eye on Mr. Linny as well. You were all super considerate and really thought everything through. Yeah, for a sec, I thought you guys were actually just straight-up villains. Yeah, just quick rant. This whole part in the Fortress of Meripede was really confusing and was probably the worst part of the entire Fontaine quest. There was a whole, like, subplot thing going on where, like, Linny was supposed to be investigating stuff and it was supposed to be that Risley and Cedrian were gonna stop the Fatui kids, essentially. Linny, Lynette, Femine, they were gonna be stopped by Risley. And it was this whole thing, like, it was supposed to make Risley look like a bad guy, but then, old plot twist, Risley's actually a good guy, even though he literally almost killed, like, almost killed killed Femine, right? And that was a whole thing. He, like, literally nearly killed a child and was like, no, just kidding. I'm actually a good guy. Huh? I was looking after them the whole time. No, you fucking weren't. You almost let one of them die. So are you good or are you not? I don't know. The game wants us to think they're good, but I don't fucking believe it. This is fucking confusing. The writing was terrible. And I had to mention this because there was no other way to slot this in, but it was a very messy sequence of events that led us here. And I just skipped over it. But my God, there was like a full 20 minutes of the most confusing, like, story ever unfolded ever. Like, like, it was genuinely garbage F-tier writing. Uh, hello, APOs. So are we just gonna stand here? NPC mode activated. I will now stand here for the next few minutes. Oh, God damn it, why'd you break your NPC pose, Ether, you stupid fuck? Things will be getting messy at the fortress soon. What? She vanished! Yeah, that is a real NPC moment. They stand there waiting for you to talk to them. And then when you're done talking to them, they just vanish. They just don't exist anymore. They aren't in integral to, to, the, to the world or anything. They're just gone. They don't have their own routine. They don't have their own anything. They, they just disappear. They are no longer relevant. <laughs> like... What happened? Why is everyone running around? Uh, hey, what are you doing? No time to explain, mate. Goodbye. Uh, hey, wait! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I love these guys! Quisto and Lavaroon, do you know what happened to you? We came here especially to inform you. Something seems to have gone terribly wrong just now. His grace is telling everyone to evacuate and get out of here. Yeah, I'm a little worried. It can't be that thing! Whoa, wait, what? What? Hey, where are you going? We have to go by the Duke. You two just go and get out! Go on without us! Hey, hey! Be careful! Wow! I actually really like that scene. I really like this! Whoa! Sorry, this is a very small detail. But it's cool to see all the people actually, like, trying to escape. Wait, this this whole scene is actually very well polished, right? Like, we bumped into people we knew. His grace has asked everyone to evacuate outwards as quickly as possible. Oh! NPCs got stuck there. That's pretty unfortunate, but wow. To be fair, very good way of adding a border as well to the area so you're restricted to like the play zone. Good way good way to make the play zone like restricted in a way that just makes sense. The the thing that stuck out to me there that felt cool was when we ran off, we didn't just run off. We addressed the two guys and we're like, We're gonna go see the Duke, you guys go on ahead without us. And then he was like, Hey, be careful! Like that was cool, because it shows that there is, again, a world that exists beyond just the Traveler, you know? Because it felt organic and real, and not just like an NPC interaction for the sake of, you know, having an NPC interaction as Genshin tends to do. And the music? Have to say, the music and then the sound from the, like, the blaring of the alarms? Oh, shit, we got a cutscene! Let me shut up. <laughs> They're here. Just like I said. <laughs> Uh oh! The gamer girl bathwater is bursting through. But be ready to run. Uh, what? Whoa! Huh? Yo, the arcanism's just a, like okay. I don't mean to interrupt the the bathwater. The bathwater is flooding. Oh no! The the pipes were broken. Oh my god! Bro just froze the sea! Holy crap! And I just have to say, sorry, really quick. Those are Vi's gauntlets. Another arcane thing, I'm not crazy. Oh god, the animation's nice. 
The fully rendered cutscenes Three, never miss. Two, one. Oh! That's so cool as he counts down and shoots! Oh my god, that is so badass! Let's go! Holy crap! This won't hold it for long. Find Nuvillette. Tell him the defenses are about to collapse. Then what will happen to you? Until he arrives, we're the last line of defense. That <laughs> cool as fuck! Good to see you. Nice to be on the overworld again. Farina will soon be meeting with the knave there. You must protect Farina and make sure she doesn't spend too much time alone with her. Oh, okay. Now we're a bodyguard? What, what is happening? And like, I, this is gonna like completely break the immersion. But because, yeah, the music, I knew it! I knew it! Oh my god, I, I, wow, right on time too, right on cue. I knew it. The music was going to go back to the overworld music and completely ruin the immersion again. Oh my god. Couldn't they have done something so that as long as the quest is active, there is specific music dedicated to the quest? That also comes hand in hand with like, just have the ability to turn off a quest. Because when the quest is disabled, then everything goes back to normal for a while, you break the immersion, but that's on your own. The game doesn't automatically break the immersion for you, you can disable the quest and have that be like your choice, right? And then like... In the process of doing that, you can also activate other quests, and by activating those quests, the NPCs that were once interrupted will just go to there as the priority instead. That can't be that hard to do, I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh! We get another animation! <laughs> oh, and this- oh my- we're back here! Wow, my, my eyes are to you good both. right now. I will take it from here. What? Dude, I for so, for a second I thought he just like tanked it. Oh, he is tanking it. Okay. Yeah, use use that they magic. Come when the prophecy is fulfilled and the waters burst forth, but it is not this day. What? This ancient power could easily obliterate an entire. What? That is a, a very cool fury shot. Would unleash endless catastrophe. Whoa! Whoa! <sighs> Yo! That's really cool. Also, this guy is really strong. This sentence is too severe. Forgive me for overruling it. Oh! Huh? He was talking about the old Hydra Archon, right? Probably. I don't know. I don't know. It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance, Traveler. I have heard much of your accomplishments. I am the Knave. I know. One of the eleven Fatui Harbingers. You're so cool. Oh, so you are also familiar with his aptitude for fighting, Miss Farina. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Child was subdued by Udex Nuvillette right in front of you. For a character with a pyrovision, her way of speaking is icy. Miss Farina, what is the purpose of your oratrice mechanique Denalise Cardinal? Oratrice mechanique Denalise Cardinal! She said it! That's crazy! The tea party turned oh. out to be even more difficult than I'd imagined. Huh? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? You know what? Actually, starting to be a very big fan of, of like her voice because there's a distinct switch. A very, very clear and distinct switch. And that, that is lovely how that's conveyed. Hey! Hey! Hey, you! What secrets you hiding, huh? Water jet. I'm watching you. Always watching. What's your impression of Farina? Woman, child. This Archon doesn't seem like a god at all. And I sense that she's under some kind of curse. Interesting. Is it a become stupid curse? Because that's pretty telling. There's no doubt that there's something wrong with her. 
I began to entertain the possibility that she is not the true Hydro Archon. Oh, is actually that explains a lot, actually. Especially the cutscene we just watched. This music actually fits the cutscene. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but the choice here, pretty nice. Over my years of service, I've learned how a real Archon conducts and carries themselves. Whether you, Dex Nouvellette, or Farina, neither fits the bill. It's hard to imagine either of them as the Archon. What about both? To put it simply, I used my power to force back the Primordial Sea and reseal the Sluice Gate. He says that so casually, as though it's the easiest thing in the world. Yeah, what power do you Whoa. have, exactly? It can't be that you're the real Hydro Archon, right? <laughs> you can't oh. tell us? Then that's okay. If by the phrase, you guys, you are referring <laughs> to Farina and I, then although I'm not sure just what you are trying to imply, I must clarify that I do not share her positions on a multitude of topics. Oh, this guy's delivery is always on point. Man, they really did not mess up anything with this character. This, this, Nervalet is the golden boy of Fontaine, man. Like, every scene he's in, every piece of dialogue that exits his mouth, it's all so good with this guy. Another catastrophe will soon be upon us. I mourn this turn of events. Did it just start to rain? Huh? Why is it raining all of a sudden? It did! Yo, he's the one that's dragging these nuts on my face. I should not say that aloud. <laughs> Fuck. Who are the dragons of each of the nations again? I, I legitimately don't know. I, I actually just do not know. Like, what the, what the whole dragon thing is about, exactly. I need to look this up real quick. Hold on, I've been missing information. Oh, when was this mentioned? The strongest elemental dragons of their respective element. Does this make him stronger than the Archons? Because that's wild. And also something I wanted to mention. I commented on how his eyes look really cool. Now I get why. Because they're fight. It's he's the dragon. His eyes are dragon eyes. If you have any more questions regarding ancient history, you are welcome to discuss them with me at a later time. Uh, I absolutely would, but I'm so behind on this game that it wouldn't matter to me. All right, stop. There's a lot more left because this quest line is long, so the rest will have to go to a third and final part, which will be releasing soon. And I really mean that this time, I promise. Nevertheless, thanks for watching and cheers. I'll see you around.